All right, folks, love of the pack is mixed all of the ingredients, and we got the uh, lovely Bergen over here mixing everything up for us. Get it nice and nice and mixed up pretty good. Lisa was taking care of Miss Carol <laughs> over to make sure she didn't uh, mess nothing up with the right. ingredients. We got relief pitcher in there, relief mixer carry in there doing her thing. <laughs> now the hard part, folks. Right. Dump the whole onion juice push. in there. Oh, no. And we got some more we're going to make. I need one more, okay. one more, babe. One more before we start. Okay. Right, folks, that's the second batch of uh, nine onions, ten onions. We did ten onions. Put your top back on. Mixing. We got the ground meat and the onions, puree onions, and we're adding a little bit of uh, the total mixture that we made up into it. And we have to keep Should mixing that to all the meat. The raw meat is not seen anymore, so it's going to be a while. Mix, mix, put some, mix, mix, put some. <laughs> She's never going to forget it. <laughs> oh. Last time she asked. It's going in our eyes. <laughs> the season, the season gets you. Oh, we got some more onions coming up over there. That's the only side that didn't get it. Make sure you don't see any raw ground meat. That's the whole key. See yeah. Right yeah, that's what we're looking for. Now squeeze your hand as you go through it and twist it like a like a mixer. There you go. That's it. Rotate your hand, get it all mixed up in there. Oh, well, Carrie's over stringing them out for us. This is what I like most about the way we do it. Is this cake decorator? You just fill it up and squeeze it. It's like it's like dog poo coming out, but it it, it works. But it tastes good. Nice and cock, uh, pretty much even, even size, everything. They, they just got a master the uh, the feel for it. Love of the packs over there cleaning up. We clean up as we go to minimize the amount of uh, clean up we have to do at one time. After this, we'll, we'll roll in the cornmeal and then we'll move it over to wrap them in paper and put them in the pot. The love of the pack has that eagle eye. She just goes along with cutting them to whatever length she wants. She knows what it has to be. So All right, folks, this is how we load the cake decorator. We just keep digging the stuff out of there and loading it, and then go over the table and squeeze them out. I think this is the last batch we have to squeeze out. We'll roll them, folks. You don't want to. Uh, no, no, we can put them in another plate. Man. Get, get some more plates. Okay. Uh, just roll them oh, easy. Oh, you put them in. Okay. Roll them very easy. Right. Right. Crew's making short work. My of rolling them in cornmeal. So it's close enough to where I could have made them come help, but they're right. red hot work tonight, so we had to go. I just washed the uh, cake decorating, uh, whatever you call it, oh, tube so squeezer. <laughs> Next, we're going to go into wrapping the uh, hot tamales in, in uh, paper, hot tamale paper. Uh, we're going to pull this white sheet off and put a new white sheet down, and throw this white sheet away. Carol buys them for a couple bucks, I think, and it does both enough for us uh, to do it twice. That's the cornmeal we use, uh, multi white yellow cornmeal. Works well. That's all the ingredients. We got garlic powder, we got chili, cayenne pepper. Be careful with the cayenne pepper, folks. I wouldn't put too much. I'd stay with the uh, recipe on that. Dark chili powder and cumin. There's the hot tamale paper, two bottles of Dory Mac. On Veterans Highway. That's the size of them, they work well. Another trick, uh, when you do your papers, you gotta wet them and layer them around so when you take them out of there, they'll all stick together and you can't get them apart. Keep going, you got a whole bunch of them there. All right, folks, you want to let the water drain out a little bit. Not necessary, but if you get the excess water out, what we do is we put them in a plate. 
that way it gets in your grain and then water will get all over it. And we go on the table over here and we get started rolling. These left-handed people, I don't know how they're going to make out, man. <laughs> well, that's the last of the bats, folks. Got a few more to roll on paper. Come over here and I'll show you how I love the pack. Stacks them. You stack them crisscross. So do one row this way. And then she'll come back and do one row this way. And that makes them pick up the juices when it's cooking. How long are you cooking for, babe? Two hours. So, and, or you gotta bring it to a good yeah, cooker. You gotta bring it to a cooker for a cooker for about two hours, two hours plus. She's already got her sauce made. Got her sauce boiling over here. What do you put in here, babe? Um, Salt, water, tomato sauce, and chili powder. Chili powder. So she puts. Uh, Water, tomato sauce, and chili powder. That's part of the recipe, too. That's right down there. More than six ounces of chili powder, three cans of tomato sauce. That's for the sauce, and you're going to boil it, get it boiling, and you're going to fill your pot up as high as you can fill it without running over. All right, that's what it looks like, folks. She, she, put, she poured in the boiling water, the sauce, and not into the pot. And now we're going to cook them for two, two plus hours. These are great pots for cooking hot tomatoes. Unfortunately, I don't think you can buy them anymore. It's got a little rack in the bottom of it to keep the hot tamales off the, off the bottom. And she's got another pan to put up there. We've got two pans. We've got, what, 23 dozen, we said? All right, folks, they've been, I don't know if y'all can see the smoke there, but they've been cooking for about two hours now. we got about another two hours to go. All right, babe, put it back. All right, we're teaching Alyssa how to eat one. You unfold it. And it comes like that, just put your paper to the side, and then you can cut it, take a bite, and it's delicious. What is it? The best part of making hot tamales is eating them. <laughs> yum, yum. Okay, then.